Town Hall 11 three star attacks, our way wars are won currently in Clash of Clans. Today we have some attacks by Elite Gaming in our CWL matchup against Warzone. Let's dive straight into them. If you are interested in joining Elite Gaming, make sure to check out our Discord link on the screen there right now. But this first attack by Beyonce is a fantastic example of setting up that Lava Loon attack. Starting out with a beautiful funnel, taking out the cannon at the northeast side of the base with a giant and wizard, and then this bowler very, very smartly he takes out the air defense, doesn't need the gold storage, balloons aren't going to get targeted or shot by that obviously, so takes the advantage of just a single bowler, misplaced it, had to put a second one in in order to hit that air defense, but down it goes, used a baby dragon down at the bottom and basically pushing in with his kill squad. Now this is very important, you've heard me say time and time again that at Town Hall 11 with the higher level heroes, take a advantage of that if you're pushing them into the base make sure you get a lot of value out of it so we're taking bowlers with them in this one gets the cc down and the enemy queen obviously huge in terms of a lava loon and look at the spread of the lava loon deployment what you want to try and do is come in from each and every angle to support your balloons through the center of the base his spell just about missed that group that took out the eagle artillery still moved forward forward and really that kill squad portion is not only to take out key objectives, it's also to set the funnel and the pathing for the balloons and that lava loon portion when it comes in. As you can see, they were deployed from the northeast side of the base and the only place that they could go was across kind of westerly and then down to that very west portion. We knew exactly where they were going to go. We could use spells in order to help them along their way. We even caught this one in the CWL live stream. If you guys missed that, every matchup here at Elite Gaming will be streamed on my YouTube channel, so make sure to check them out. And that wraps it up for this first three-star attack. This was actually the last one that we got in the war. Ironic that I put it on first, but I really wanted to show you the setting up of the front Unfortunately, we lost 144 to 145 in the dying seconds. We had Warzone backs up against the wall the entire time. Actually, we'll show you this attack. 99% devastating. We had them on percentage as well. That would have won us this war. Amazing how close these CWL matchups can be. DJ, he's an absolute beast. He has a YouTube channel, DJ Clan Smasher. I'll link it in the top right make sure to go and check him out again sets up the funnel now i've realized that dj is a big fan of the baby dragons and so he should be look at the value he gets one single baby dragon over to the top part of the base there sets that funnel beautifully and then you can see exactly where his troops will go straight into this pocket where the enemy queen is and we can get that enemy cc now you often see these bases with kind of channels coming down them that's often a brilliant area to send a queen charge in, in order to just control that a little bit easier. In this case, it actually draws our bowlers back out, which isn't a great thing, uh, but we still get what is needed from the kill squad in that of the queen and enemy CC, and more importantly, taking out all of the defenses in the north. Again, you can see exactly here that once the balloons are deployed, they will be able to be moved right across the base in a controlled fashion. So DJ, very quickly, you'll see, will put balloons at Lava Hound first, obviously to tank down in the south here and what that does is controls the balloons at the top here across to the eagle artillery concentrates their fire the last thing you want is your balloons flying all over the map and you're not able to get into them heavier defenses obviously we need some balloons onto that eagle artillery we'd hate to see them circle around the entire base leave that until last and not be able to get it down haste spells are obviously very important that's what's going to push your balloons through the base keep them behind the lava hounds and the heal spells very very important over the wizard towers as well and the splash damage had to use the heal spell quite early there um leaving this wizard tower exposed because the balloons were going down however grand warden steps up 
Clutch takes it down and boom, so many lava pups and minions left over that it is a brilliant three star attack. DJ hit this early on in the war as well. Um, so again, make sure to show him some love as well over on his channel. Let's get into that 99%. You guys have no idea how close this one is and a beautiful attack it was. Really deserved the three stars, but hey, that's just how the cookie crumbles sometimes. So, Queen Charge coming through here gets amazing value. Very nice to just use a couple of minions in order to get that snipe. Don't have to take too much time setting the funnel. It's already done. Couple of wall breakers just open up or attempt to open up that compartment for the Queen doesn't quite get there she's going to continue walking down the south here but what we want is the queen and cc so we're going to charge in there to get that and we need the funnel set in order to do that so that is why the king comes in from the bottom here along with just that wizard again it's a shame to put the king in when he has so much tankage get one of them high hp uh i always say high hp high damage troops in there to help out ends up helping with the arch tower and cannon and this is where i was seeing in the last replay look at this long open channel it actually allows our queen to walk along there and get what we want in that of the enemy cc and the enemy queen always nice as well when you can use a single poison spell in order to get onto the cc and the queen slow her down obviously the rage spell is very important with that queen charge and with that done you can now see again how the lava hounds and balloons will come in now the lava hounds are going to rush to the opposite side of the base here to walk Towards the air defense again it really depends on what you're going to leave where you want to come at this sometimes you can come directly onto the air defense um, take them down the lava hounds are still going to tank but it depends on the defenses on the other side as you can see we have um, wizard towers but nothing that we can't compensate with a few spells so in comes the balloons grand warden helps with that we actually tried to alter this attack bring the grand warden in in order to protect the queen uh, but it didn't quite work out grand warden really was needed here with the balloons but as they come forward spells galore help to get them right over that area and this is where the grand warden was ever so vital you need a plan for them back end wizard towers use the grand warden's ability and fortunately they split which means that final wizard tower cannot do anything but just watch how close it gets all defenses go down tons of balloons but they are just quite close together slowly getting picked off by the uh, the expo I cannot believe how close this was to the three stars guys and how close it was to the win but that will wrap it up for this one that was our three lava loon attacks two three stars and one 99% deserve the three star look at how close it is Oh my god, it's agonizing to know that that is what cost us the war as well. We had a 97% as well. Um, but that will wrap it up for this one. I've been your host, Judo Sloth. And until next time, peace out, guys.